Hi fellow artists, my name is Lauren. I am the artist behind Potato Art Studios and in today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. I thought I would take you through how I organize my most often used art supplies in my art storage cart. So if you're interested in watching that, just keep on watching. Alright, so this is just a general overview of what my cart looks like. I am using a Creative Mark III tier art storage cart um, and this thing is pretty sturdy. It uh, has casters or wheels on the bottom so I can roll it around but normally I just keep it in this one place and it's located near my desk so I can have easy access to my art supplies. On my very top tier is where I keep my shipping supplies. And this is just my heavy-duty packing tape I use. And a roll of Do Not Bend stickers, which is very important if you're mailing out artwork. And some other rolls of tape, some washi tape. I also keep my stationery up here. So these are my uh, envelopes and papers that I use to write thank you notes with every order. And to the right of that is my poly sleeves. So it's what I use to protect the artwork during shipment and it makes it look a little bit more professional to use a poly sleeve. And next to that is some uh, backing boards and photo envelopes. So these mailers are pretty sturdy and I haven't had any issues or complaints with uh, my past clients about damaged artwork. And all of those uh, envelopes sit on a, I think it's a file organizer. So all of my shipping supplies are on this uh, wire shelf and I got this shelf I believe from Ross for about five dollars or so and I just zip tied it to the very top handles of the cart to prevent it from sliding off. There's just regular zip ties. Okay, and on to the second shelf. Um, I have my camera equipment stored in that one plastic tray. Then I have my pencil case, a roll of paper towels, and a brush holder. Below that I have a hanging wire shelf. Um, I think I also got this from Ross for a couple dollars as well and I, that just slips right onto that first shelf and creates basically like another shelf. I have a few more art supplies, a tiny plastic bin, has a bunch of miscellaneous things like exacto blades, erasers, uh, small USB cables, and below that is where I store my oil paints. So. I don't want my oil paints to get on anything, so they're in their own separate bin. And that bin is also pretty sturdy. It goes all the way back to the cart. And I also have this neat um, organizer, and it's actually a tool organizer, I believe, that I got from either Home Depot or Lowe's. And so they have those little partitions so you can create the size of apartments you want. And below that I have a uh, my gouache and watercolors, and my external hard drive. So I have my brush cleaner. Um, it's a silly coil tank. It's been really good. Then in my little liquids bin, I have my painting mediums. So and that huge thing in the back is my Gamsol, so I buy the huge huge bottle of Gamsol. So in general you always want to store liquids at the bottom so in case something spills it's not going to drip down and go over everything. Um, I buy uh, sample pads of paper from Jerry's Artorama. I'll leave them linked down below but they have great little uh, sample packs so if you want to try uh, different brand of paper you've never used before. They have one or two dollar um, sample packs so you can 
have a low risk commitment to see if you like the paper before you buy a whole pad of it. And on the left hand side I have a hook for my headphones. And a smaller hook for uh, my ruler. And on the right side I have more hooks. These have my scissors hanging there right now. And below that is another hook, hook bin combination. And that stores my uh, apron so I don't mess up my clothes when I'm painting and hold some of my larger brushes. Oh, but that, that's just a spray bottle hanging out down there. I'll leave uh, links to things where I can uh, down below in the description box. So if you're interested in any of the items that I listed, I'll have them outlined down below. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, let me know and I'll be happy to film a couple. These are pretty pretty fast and straightforward to edit, so they're a lot less um, time intensive than my normal time lapse videos. Sorry that this video is not a time lapse. I didn't have enough time to edit my time lapse that I had planned for this week. I think I'll have a time lapse of a hedgehog, which if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can be sure that you won't miss out on that. And that will be a 15 or 20 minute time lapse video. And thank you very much for watching.